Okay, I want you to start off with this, what looks like a crazy long polynomial. 6x squared plus 3x plus 20x plus 10. Oh, okay. You just leave them in there. Thanks. When I say we're going to do this by grouping, when I look at these four terms, they don't all have something in common. We can't do what we just did with the others, where each term we were able to pull things out of. In this case, I'm noticing something, and this is where the grouping comes in. These two terms have things in common, and these two have things in common. And I would like you to draw that box because we're using it like an upside down division symbol. What is this, these two terms, what do they have in common? They can be divisible by three. They can both be divided by three. And what about the x's? What's the maximum number of x's I could divide out? Five. One. Just Two. one. <laughs> Over here I can take six divided by three gives us two. So we're going to start rewriting this over here. We're going to pull out the 3x from the first part. When I divide 6x squared by 3x, I'm left with 2x. When I take 3x and divide it by 3x, what are we left with? Just 1. So just looking at it, would you agree with me that if I redistributed this, I would go back to these numbers? Yes. yes. Okay? Yes. And then we're going to take the second group. Ten. What number can be divided by both of these? Five. Twenty. Ten. I go ten. I go for the highest one you can. Ten. I can't divide an x out because only this one has an x in its term, this one does not, but they both have something that can be divided by 10, don't they? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show over here that this is plus 10, and when I divide 10 out of this first term, what do I get? 2x. Uh, so it doesn't have to be um, a common factor? No, oh. greatest common factor. Oh, alright. And 10 divided by 10 is? What do you notice about the parentheses? They got the same. Oh, they're the same. They're the same. That means that these, and I do want you to draw this, use your pencil. These two here are what's called a common factor because they're the same. That means that we can rewrite this as equal to 3x plus 10 times 2x plus 1. And this is where the cloud left the thing comes Our goal is to take this and go from having plus signs in between all the terms to being things that we can multiply. This is just a rewritten version of this. We took this set and made it this set, and we took this group and made it this group. Then when we saw that there was a common factor here, we put it here. And the other two terms we pulled out became a partnership here. And now let's prove that this works by using a box. This was one of the sections on the chapter seven test you guys rocked. Hardly anybody has to redo the end of it unless they're just not thrilled with their score. So let's look here. What's two times three? And x times x? X squared. Okay. What's down here? And up here? And down here? Do these terms match our original terms? Yes. 
6x squared plus 3x plus 20x plus 10. Okay. When this was originally written, it was like this. But to show it to you guys, I broke up this 23x so that I knew that the 20 would go with the 10 and the 3x would go with the 6. Okay? So I'm going to write one this time where I'm not doing that breaking up first for you. Let's do it together. X squared plus 5x. Yes? Isn't it squared and not cubed? Oops, you're right. Thank you. Nope, he's right. <laughs> x squared plus 5x plus 6. First thing we want to do is look at that 5x in the middle and see if we can break it into two terms where one of them is going to match the x squared and one of them is going to match the 6. Wait, so we have to split the 5 the Yeah, so let's look here. We're going to have x squared in the front plus some number that's with the x, plus a number number that's with the x, plus 6. Our goal is to break this into two groups. These two here have to equal 5. How would you like to break up a 5 to have something here that matches the 6? A 3. Mm -hmm. And what does that leave over here? A two. A two. Oh. <laughs> what were we looking at here? You guys told me three because you saw we could get a three out of the six. Yes. That would be the greatest number. So we're going to divide this one by three. Divide this by x. By two. two. Not two. X. X. Just x. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And I'm going to rewrite it down below after we do the division. X squared divided by X. X. 2X divided by X. 2. Plus, we're going to put the 3 out front. 3X divided by 3 leaves us with? 1. Plus, 6 divided by 3? 2. Do we have a common factor? Yes. Yes. So we're going to rewrite it with the common factor of X plus 2. And then we also make up a factor of x plus 3. And then we box it to test it. Remember, we can only do the box when we have a polynomial times another polynomial. So I'm going to put x and plus 2 across the top, x plus 3 down the side. Do these two combine back to the 5x that we had originally? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys one to try. Cool. 